at some point in your life, you've undoubtedly seen the famous Budweiser Clydesdales, either on television or maybe in your hometown parade. Alan Manning's been a farrier for the past 30 years, and for the past six, he's been taking care of horses for Anheuser-Busch. Educated about the trade at farrier school, he started out working with hunters and jumpers, as the lingo goes, eventually moving on to the majestic draft horses, weighing in from 1,800 to 2,200 pounds and standing 17 to 18 hands tall. Putting shoes on, trimming these horses' feet doesn't hurt them at all. It's just like working with your fingernail. It's an insensitive keratin material. It grows continuously, and the reason that we reset the shoes so so often every six weeks is because the toe of the foot tends to grow a little more quickly than the heel so if they're not maintained they start to have problems with the tendons and ligaments in their legs so if the horse was not wearing shoes that foot would generally naturally wear off. Four teams travel 300 days a year with the seasons dictating where they visit. Pete Peterson is the supervisor and lead driver of the San Antonio based crew responsible for everything from daily paperwork to scheduling. And as of late, he's been pitching in and helping with the farrier work. Each team travels with 10 geldings. They range in age anywhere from four to about 15 years of age. And I always tell people that the horses, they're just like an athlete. You know, as long as they're healthy and sound, determines on when they get replaced in the team. So, you know, a horse might last you know, until he's 15, 16 years of age, he gets retired due to age or uh, he might you know, develop a problem at seven or eight years of age. It just depends on that particular horse. We have two in particular that I'll mention. First one is Lee. He is 13 years old. He came over from Scotland as a two-year-old. Second horse, his name is McGee, and he came from northern Michigan here as a seven-month-old baby. Actually, we were up in uh, Traverse City last week, and his owner, or former owner, I should say, came down to visit him. Along with McGee coming from right here in Michigan, so do some of the most sought after shoes in North America. The Will Lent Horseshoe Company in Shelby, Michigan specializes in making shoes for draft horses. We make a, um, a basic, simple, round work shoe, which everyone's pretty much, when they think of a horseshoe, they think of a uh, balanced round shoe. We also make two different styles of show shoes for draft horses. Horses that are competing and driving in halter competition, and, and that's a real part of our niche and they're more expensive than the regular work shoes and we're kind of a manufacturer's nightmare we make so many different sizes and styles of shoes that the bigger companies don't want to mess with it. Will says the best thing about the horseshoe business is they wear out and you have to buy new ones. With roughly 10 million horses in the U.S. that fact is not lost on the students at Wolverine Farrier School now located in Clare, Michigan owned and operated by Gregory Gray. What I do here is I teach individuals how to trim and shoe horses. I teach handmade application, which are typically pre-made shoes that you reshape to fit the horse's foot. And I also teach handmade application, which we start with straight raw bar stock. And we turn them, we put all the nail holes, the creases, most, mostly anything you see in a keg shoe, we do it by hand. I start all my students out on cadaver legs. It sounds a little bit crazy, but I like my students to get a taste, a feel for what they're getting into before we actually get on their live horses. We also teach uh, anatomy and physiology. I like my students to know what's involved in the foot and in the lower leg so that they know what they can hurt or not hurt. According to Greg, a farrier needs between 240 and 300 horses to make a very good living. And he says to make no mistake about it, the work is very physically demanding, with the forging of steel and a hot fire the hardest part. But if you have a strong desire to succeed, Greg says you will earn every cent you make. You can learn more about the farrier trade and the opportunities that exist by visiting the Wolverine Farrier School website at wfschool.com.